pretty excited about call time i don't know I, I think anyone that watched the um my set review my set review got that impression hopefully but i didn't buy into the last two sets on on arena and i'm buying into this one i think i'm gonna play some standard do some draft have a good old time Into the God Eternals has been decent for me. We could Pell Collector and just try and like red green murder your face. We could take Bastion, go uh, Aristocrats. I feel like Aristocrats isn't as open as like Red Stompy, or Green Stompy rather. In the In the average game. Nice, J.H. James. Yeah, I actually pre-ordered some paper cards, too. I picked up a set of the the dragon, the gold, the gold dragon, and a set of the, um, the Vorinplex. And then I picked up some of the, um, the red flip, the red flip god. Because I think it might be good in, um, I think it'll actually go down, the Red Flip God. But I think it'll, I think it's going to be good in Mono Red Storm and Legacy, so. I just wanted to have them. Just know they're on the way. Man, fuck green aggro, huh? Let's take Blossom to it all. That card's fucking nuts. Done with Flip to Bolt. I think Flip to, Flip to Bolt is going to be cool in that deck. I don't think it's going to be enough to make Jund like Nutter Butters or anything. You still have to like draw the Tibalt, and it's not amazing when you draw it, right? Just your like weird Goblin Piker that doesn't hit against everybody. Could take Crocs here, maybe away from green. Could they drown catacombs? We'll drive back for more and just like be black green. I don't hate that. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Jun with the flip to ball. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't pre-order the, the flip to vaults or anything. I don't think I'm gonna play them in paper at all. I'll test them in Legacy and Modern. But they should end up being fairly cheap on Moto. Maybe not. Because everyone like dusts off Jund for another another dance. One last dance as the ball uh, at the ball. Foreign clicks looks sweet to build with. It does, yeah. And thirty bucks is a lot. Thirty dollars is a lot for a for a card, especially when you're like not sure when you're gonna play standard again. But I think, uh, wild speculation. I, th I think like we are gonna have a lot of time to play that card in standard, and I don't think a lot of this card. I don't think a lot of this product is gonna get opened in, in paper. Like stores are gonna crack packs so they can sell them online and stuff. But everybody that would be drafting in person, like fewer boosters are gonna get opened over its lifespan. But then people will still need the cards later. You see that you see that fluctuation with the with Magic Online, the Magic Online cycles of, of cards. Remorse maybe, bloodthirsty maybe. We're during draft season, like cards usually hit a pretty low price.
Could take Path. And then after draft season, like the Mythics and stuff spike. Not that anyone fucking drafts on um, Moto anymore, but you used to see that phenomenon. So Falcon Wrath Noble plays really well with Priest. Oracle Moldaya plays really well with Bolas' Citadel. I kind of like that. I kind of like that synergy. Yeah, let's just be black green. You're not even opening packs for the shop? Yeah. And Warren Clicks isn't just like a standard card either. Like, it's an EDH staple. So if fewer packs of the set get opened, and people will need them for standard eventually. And then Warren Clicks in particular is also this like sick EDH card. In my set review, I had those two. I think I had those two cards as like the, the top two rares of the set. Uh, Castle is so free, but Chromatic Lantern just like ramps us. Ramps the Citadel. I'll take the Castle. Anyway. This is all my like internal justification for. <coughs> dumping some cash on, on pre orders. It's almost always incorrect, right? It's almost always better to, to wait a few weeks. Let prices settle and then and then make put your orders in. But I thought those were reasonable prices for two highly playable mythics. I guess I'll find out. I'll find out if I'm a, a big old dum dum or not later on. It's hard to imagine either of them dropping too much though. If they do drop. Super good cards. I think about the Leaf Kid Druid here. And then I'm hoping the 2 minute 3 2 comes back. Fine Finale could, could be good. Branch Walker could be good. Maybe I want a Foulmire Knight. Just have a, like another one drop to run out. Yeah, a lot of the potential great wheels here. I'm gonna take the knight. I like Voracious Hydra and Green Merchant. Village Rights could be interesting. I think I'm gonna take the Green Merchant with Command the Dread Horde and Citadel. Want some life gain in here. Especially good with Citadel, huh? Well, it's a good place to go for royalty free music if you're gonna stream on Twitch. Uh, let's see. I think a lot of people use pretzel bites if you want something fairly easy. I haven't used them, but they're a recommended service. Fine finale as a card. Me too. I think we're probably the only green black drafters. I was expecting that there's like a good chance for that one to come back. I also really wanted the one drops, right, with Priest of the Forgotten Gods in here. And Felmire Knight is not just a one drop, it's also a value card. So it's a one drop for Song of Fraley's too. You just wanna just wanna dump your hand. Spawn plays pretty well with Priest. I don't know if I like it with the rest of our cards. Lampad could be good, Beanstalk Giant could be good. I think I like Lampad with the, uh, the Citadel and Command the Dreadhorde. Let's, let's jam it in here. I like the ramp on, on the Giant too, though. It seems like a bestiary deck to me. It's like a backup Citadel if we don't get Citadel. Great Jade Light Ranger deck. Sound soundtrack by Twitch. I've heard mixed things about Soundtrack by Twitch. I had, a, I had a hell of a time trying to get it running, trying to get it to work. I never had mixed opinions of the, the music selection. They also don't really like pay the artists, whereas Pretzel Bites does. Hmm. 
yeah, I think Scrounger makes sense here. Rose the Pelt Collector, real nice. Sax to Priest, real Priest and Land Pad, real nice. It doesn't block, but that's okay. Not everything has to block. For sure, James. Yeah, I mean, they're all folks that want to be played on Twitch anyway, Lunch, Supper, Victory. Is the idea. So the fight finale didn't come back, but we did get Branch Walker, which I also wanted out of that pack. Yeah, I feel you, you shall have. I feel you. Advertisement, yeah. You know. There is a difference between telling telling someone that you'll give them like free advertising for like a ton of their their labor and stuff, and you just like advertising to your scumbag friends that also don't want to pay you, as opposed to like. Say you're doing a service, and some like TV station offers to do a trade for you, where you like fix their water heater and then you like give them actual valuable ad time. Like people, people buy ads, right? They buy ads on Twitch. You're a talker. The value isn't zero. This needs to talk. Which some record la labels realize, and some don't. Not super thrilled about picking up Fauna Shaman. Not sure what I was supposed to do with that pack. Oh, Rish card's good. I like that card. Yeah, we do have some 1-1 counters for Evolution Sage. Could end up being sweet. So I think we, like, need this Overgrown Tomb. Like, like we super need it for our mana base. We were trying to play, like, triple black cards. It'd be nice to take 10 to shoot Dryad, but... I think this is a little bit more necessary. Yeah, Clamshell. Well, the part of it is that, like, Twitch is a huge market for a smaller record label, so it's it's more worth their time to work with Twitch. And Twitch is, like, a super small market for a large record label, and it's not worth their time at all. Part of it is, like, old fogies, like, not understanding technology and, and stuff like that, but it's not all of it. Part of it is just pragmatism. Resembling skeleton is kind of cool with like priest and uh, fauna shaman and stuff. You could also take heartless act and have an actual removal spell in here somewhere. Nah, <laughs> nah. We're gonna have some interesting sideboard options. Some interesting build options here. Hey, up, Shark Fist? How's it going? Play that played Rusalka. I 
This is not best of three, no. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna end up playing the Green Merchant or not. I was really valuing getting some life gain with Citadel and Command the Dreadhorde, but we might just not play the Command the Dreadhorde and build more towards Great Henge. And then Great Henge gives us some life. Becomes less of a big deal. Some real cool synergies in this deck. Path. I want a lot of creatures in here. I think I'm gonna cut the agonizing remorse too. I'm not sure about village rights. And then yeah, I think we cut the command and the great merchant. Considering cutting the baleful ammon. I think we're gonna cut the Evolution Sage too. We have some synergies with it. But not a ton. Like, if the song pops off, we should already be winning, right? Alright, I guess I'll cut right play Drusalka. Creature count, it's still really high, right? 17. 17's pretty good. I think I'm gonna cut the village rights. It pairs really well with the, the Scrounger and the Reassembling Skeleton and the Vicious Offering. Well, not the vision. Vicious Offering, but you get what I mean. I think we're gonna, we're gonna be good with like Citadel and Great Hedge drawing us our cards. I don't think we need like a piddly draw spell. We just like play more play more creatures so that the song is more consistently good. And I think this mana breakdown's fine. Hey cheers everybody. My fellow late night crazies. Assuming you're here in uh, North America with me. Hey, Tube Hun. Pretty decent games. Ah, it's Humanity. Yeah, Skull. Getting in the, the Kaldheim spirit. I watched the... So apparently, there had been like half a season of Vikings that I'd never seen. They just like quietly released the second half on Amazon as an exclusive. And I just never caught it. So I was like, bonus. Like I thought that show was done with. And I got a whole nother like eight episodes. It was pretty decent too. I think overall Vikings is like a fairly uneven show, but uh, but it's not bad. Like every every season still has good episodes. It seems like. Hulu has it. Hulu has the last season. All like 16 episodes the last season or whatever. 
I think the first half, I think the first uh, eight episodes were released on Hulu. I could be wrong on that. Maybe it's on both. Because I was, I was originally watching it on Hulu, yeah. Vikings is an interesting show in terms of like historical historical accuracy because they take a lot of like liberties in terms of being able to like tell a engrossing story and have a bunch of seasons with like the same characters and stuff so like the timeline's all screwy and and whatever and then sometimes like their their outfits are like weird they'll be they'll have like fake leather <laughs> nonsense that doesn't make any sense and then other times they'll be like watching their their combat choreography and like the the fighters will be like using the the shields correctly and stuff, and I'll just be like, yes, <laughs> I'll just get real into it. They did a reasonable reasonable job of depicting some historic battles. Mm. You have a friend who was an extra on that show. Oh, su sweet! That's super cool. Just activating the the troll guardian is maybe better. Get my trample. They're at seven life, right? Get my trample on is maybe better. Well, this is is too cool though. It's too cool not to play. Yeah, exactly, you walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> on the one hand, if we just activate the troll, we're probably winning super hard. On the other hand, Citadel. He said it was awesome. Oh, to be an extra? Nice. Yeah, I think I would love that shit. Just be like being around the filmmaking process. I think that if I wasn't doing something gaming related, doing something in the film industry would have been really, really cool. I think I would have loved that. Shaman grab even. Let's check. Let's just fucking let's just activate. Not much. This is a mistake. We got close. We got close to getting the Citadel. Fuck Ivar. Fuck I Ivar. He doesn't have. He doesn't have any bones. <laughs> 
That's being beaded against the boneless. I like Ivar a little bit better in the last season. He is, of course, supposed to be, like, some crazy warlord maniac. And the, the actor does a really good job. No spoilers? Okay, sure. Fair enough. GG Humanity, thanks for the thanks for the game. You were hoping I was gonna go too low with the Citadel. I was kinda of thinking that I could like get to ten permanents. I got close, I got to eight, so it's not a <laughs> There's a fairly fairly safe hope on your part, but I um I ended up hitting too many lands. Cut me short. Me and the chat were discussing like I, I probably win if I just activate the troll to turn sooner. But Citadel's so much fun. Can't say no to Citadel. So in my head, this is the 2-mana 1-2 that gave them a 1-1 one, one when it died, so I was going to put the Vicious Offering on their turn. It's, that's not what this card is. I should have just activated it on my turn. Played Troll, I guess. Hey, Tommy the Shake! Sings to the sub, into the 34 months. A Hellrider deck playing defensively? Oh yeah. Yeah, you never want to be there. Hellrider's so good, too. You got it, friend. If they don't answer the priest here, I don't care about this at all. So fucking sweet. You remember when the opponent made a three four? That was cute. That was that was adorable. Nojek in the Red God. I think it's pretty easy to talk about a lot of shows without spoiling them necessarily. I have a group of friends who made a who made a Star Wars only group on Facebook just specifically to talk about Star Wars once we'd uh, seen the stuff so we can... God, that bear is so good. That bear is so good! I can't get over how good this bear is. Look, they got a sleepy wolf over there. Oh, this bear. <laughs> he waves at you. <laughs> what the shit? He's so jolly. And the fur like ripples. Ripples when he moves. Did I play land? I certainly did. 
If I hadn't played a land, the, the land would have uh, lit up. It would have been an option. It was not. It was not an option. It's possible I played a land before the Citadel, which would have been bad, but... It is what it is. Is the chat going to move to the other side? Oh, because it's covered. The issue with the chat being on the other side is when I'm drafting, the deck is on that side. So I don't think the chat's moving, but that would be a good reason. That'd be a super valid reason. I can play it with Kicker. Should've. Maybe. I was just packing it in. Sir Barrington might be a jealous. Oh, no, 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 no. Sir Barrington was actually the model. Um, they brought him in, put a green suit on him. Yeah, they couldn't get Andy Circus, so. They called up Sir Barrington. Hmm. Let's do this. Can you Coco into one of the gods slash artifacts and have it come in as an artifact? I don't know. I'm not sure. For over a year, you thought Sir Paynton was a stuffed bear? <laughs> hey, Sir, Pain Sir Paynton's a full-size, like, life-scale... ...bit of bear goodness. that oracle here to like just jam priest priest seems so good today you learned sir barrington is not a stuff bear no one of those cardboard cutouts i have a danny devito too if you've ever seen those half my chat is <laughs> the bear is literally tucked behind the greendale flag you thought it was like a full-size stuffed bear? <clears throat> you don't think Priest is good versus Annex? Do you think Priest is good versus an opponent at 14 life? Very small on mobile. I can see that. Yeah, if you're watching on mobile, for sure. For sure. Hmm. Well, they didn't kill my priest, so you might be right. Or they just have two removal spells. Lifecrafter is bestiary is insanely good in some matchups. This is not one of those matchups. Oh man, I can smell dinner cooking. I'm so excited. For my din din. Let's go ahead and Jade Light. 
If we get a land off this, we can play the, the troll after. Graveyard. Oh no, we didn't get a land off this. Well, that's kind of a bummer. It's all Oracle. Yay. Should we pay two? Is that suicidal? A little bit. I feel like we need to see the Danny DeVito cut out. I've streamed with the Danny DeVito cut out. The reason I swapped out the Danny DeVito cut out is because I used to see Danny DeVito's reflection in my monitor and it would scare the bejeebus out of me. Danny DeVito is actually much scarier than a full grown fucking bear. I feel like maybe you should have left something back to block, huh? For a noob, do you need to spend a lot of money to get decks? Not on Arena. I'm not even playing something that uses decks right now. I'm playing something that uses, like, random cards. You still have to buy in, but... Yeah, like, playing gives you, like, gold and stuff. That's, like, the, the free currency, and then you can, like, spend money to get gems. And both let you like play. Both let you play and buy packs and stuff. Arena is the the free to play, free to play way to play Magic the Gathering. This here Magic the Gathering game. Oh, you forgot the satyrs couldn't block. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Annex certainly has a downside, huh? You can help get the cosmetics, yeah, right? Mm. It's so pretty sometimes. <laughs> Amazing wear toxin. Yeah, we had a lot of bears where I grew up, but the bears where I grew up were not like they weren't fucking grizzly. They weren't brown bears. They weren't grizzly bears. They were. Very innocuous black bears. There was like a brief period in the spring where mother bears will be around with their cubs. And like you need to be careful that you don't get in front of a mother bear and her cub. But we all get like taught that in school and stuff. We get taught like bear safety. There's a lot of bears around. This fucking throat singing is amazing. That deep, that deep moan there. Love it. What? I think you need to take a look at this, sir. You mean to tell me the fate of the world is in the hands of these? Yeah, but after that, like, God, help us all. Hundred percent, leave you alone. Basically, just like oversized raccoons, right? They might, like, dig through your garbage or something. Ooh, do I want that? Almost. I'm gonna graveyard it. And the reason I'm graveyarding Rishkar here is because it doesn't grow Pell Collector. I'm probably playing the Croc next turn anyway. And it's not a black source to give me a Citadel. Exactly, Nate Dog. We get taught the bare necessities in school. Does that happen all across the states? Like, do people in the southern states learn bear safety, or is that just like a a northern Wisconsin thing? Colorado you do? Okay, fair. 
Florida, you get gator safety. Nice. What is gator safety like? <laughs> Don't fucking touch the gator. <laughs> Lots of bear safety taught in Canada. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's got to be more important for you folks, huh? You have actual, like, Kodiak bears and shit. Earthquake drills in California. Yeah, I don't think we got those. We got we got tornado drills, but there's like so few tornadoes where I grew up. They, they were kind of a waste of time. We'd like go out in the hallway and like curl up in a ball against the wall with like our textbook behind our head. Because if a tornado fucking rips through the, the school, that, that's what saves you or whatever. Run zigzags and don't go into random lakes. <laughs> Don't go up and punch one in the nose. <laughs> yeah, uh, got you good, Gator. Get them whatever they need. You got taught how to deal with tornadoes in Oklahoma. Yeah, was was it put a fucking textbook behind your bed in the hallway or behind your head in the hallway? I still love that animation for Tim Red. I also don't even like this. How to tell him a snake's a copperhead? And, oh yeah. Supposedly there's some dangerous like snakes and spiders in Wisconsin, but I've never <laughs> heard of or encountered any. We mostly had uh, garter snakes and, and red bellies where we grew up, where I grew up. Just the gentlest fucking snakes ever. Yeah, I believe it, genderless slime. I believe it. AOC said that during the attack on the Capitol, her staff knew what to do. They knew to, like, turn the lights off and keep the doors shut and, and like, not make any noise. Because they had done shooter, shooter drills in school. No, you're right. The token definitely gets more zombies on it as it grows. Yeah, apparently in some of the, the FBI interviews, after they, they arrested the folks that were, like, looting the Capitol and shit, the, the FBI arrested them and, like, interviewed them and, like, and stuff. And some of them admitted to, like, not having even voted. <laughs> they literally didn't vote. They weren't connected enough to, to actually go in and vote. But they were still mad enough about the results of the election to go try and, like, overturn it. Some people's kids, I tell ya. Mr. Blue! And Mr. Blue isn't playing a blue deck. 
going to be very upset. Birds of Paradise sleeves. Birds of Paradise is, is a blue adjacent card. Can play no go turn two off that card. <laughs> Your name is literally Richard Nixon's head. You can't complain about po political talk. <laughs> oh, you said why I love this stream. Okay, you're not complaining. That's fine. <laughs> hey, the world is flat. Thanks for the sub. Red Funk Zero, thanks to the sub, thanks to the 51 months. Hmm. I think I like Shepard here. This is like a couple tokens against the Pyromancer. Let's come up the board a little bit. Interesting, Floyd. You got a link? Probably read that shit. I read a few articles a day, mostly just like stuff that I get linked. Try and follow like a solid amount of political types on Twitter. Hmm. Stay current. I think on turn three I would have liked this bestiary. I feel like I've got like my mana tied up for the next however long. I won't graveyard it. Feels slow. Bright sky paint does feel slow. I agree. Like I think I wanna go either like troll red guardian or maybe kick an untamed Kabu next turn. Try and, try and just like keep on applying pressure. I think with them holding the spell gorge or weird up, weird up, we can't attack with the two X's. Not this turn anyway. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'll check it out later, Floyd. And I assume that they're gonna answer the Untamed Kabu. Oh shit, that just resolves. Hmm. I really didn't even have a spell. Spell Gore Dream. just like spell drained right they have all these like cards that reward them for playing a bunch of like cantrips and burn and stuff but they don't play well with each other <laughs> they're like mono payoffs over there Guitar solo almost sounds like a like a sax solo in a 
in a jazz song, those high squeals. I mean, they have to block more than this, so they're done for it, yeah. Let the trades happen. Resembling skeleton plus lamp pad seems amazing. Drain them out. Curious, sir? Curious, sir. GG! And this, this deck's been cleaning. 203. Oh man. I think I'm gonna leave this for future me. Oh man. Past Caleb left us with a good one. Five wins. Some green, some green black hotness. Cardboard Live is active. <laughs> no, it's fine, Crook, yeah. This is like the worst Pell Collector draw I've ever seen. We've got like... <laughs> There's three creatures that all have one power. I'm still gonna lead on it, of course, but. I'm planning on playing the first hero in games here, which is maybe still better. But I do like me a life crafter's best Jerry.
honestly, Vintage Masters is a pretty niche format. I'm kind of surprised that um, we've been able to fire pretty consistently throughout the night. I'm not surprised that like the last draft of the night is a little too slow for me. Because mm, it is a niche format. And at a certain point, there's just not enough folks playing. Sunday, is it? Yeah, late Sunday night hasn't been historically great. What arena format is this? This is cube. decking me. We only have 11 cards left in the library. Yeah, it looks like this deck's picking up its first loss, huh? My losing streak continues between formats. Offering was a great draw. I think we have like a removal, a removal spell in like this entire deck, so. Ooh! The mill action. Working. Doing work. We have four cards left. We have two cards left. Do they have one more Cycler? Another Cycler does it. Do they have a cantrip? <laughs> I don't think a removal spell works, because the, the first game is put three counters on a creature I control. I think they have to draw a card. opponent you're just like what went wrong it was all going so well they just ran out of gas at a certain point plus the land off the top yeah activate my fucking castle or whatever is this deck black green sack yeah kind of don't worry, most people missed the missed the drafting. I didn't even show the deck list. I just like di dove into the games. Do you 
looks like this, uh, this Alan Gogol. Give me some nice plucking. A lot of his stuff is, like, so chill, I think it would put me to sleep if I was listening to it on stream. But I like this. I like a few of, I like a few of his tunes. Stressful day you need it. Yeah, fair enough. I've been there. <laughs> I feel like having this vibe in the music quiver. Yeah, I'd like to have like a full chill playlist. Right now I only, only have like 20 some songs in it though. At a certain point I'd like to have like a lot of the same moods that were um, that were in the old series of playlists. A punk, uh, like a pop punk and ska playlist, and a um, a chill playlist, and yeah. The, the issue with electronic stuff is I already have two electronic playlists, Odin so would not nice. But you were certainly correct there. I'm supposed to play the song here, just so that we have mana for Citadel next turn. I'll give the other blocker out, though. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not just like a, a button I can push, right? Some genres have, uh... that are open than others, right? That's pretty brutal. They even get to draw two. Yes, exactly, Jaspo. Yeah, I can change the stream title. Yeah, this actually is Vintage Masters. All the cards that we're playing are technically Vintage Legal. I 
Should village rights, village rights get played more? I think village rights gets played an awful lot. Legacy's standard and uh, historic play, right? Paying life, paying like one or two life to play a creature is like, it's better, it's better than leaving it on top. It's awkward to pay life when the opponent's playing all aggressive and stuff, but like paying two life here lets us block a 3-2. I don't know about that oracle though, I don't know about that oracle. <laughs> fucking oracle. For a little bit of reach now, huh? <laughs> Get this cry on. Try and find a burn spell. Just playing to win. Just playing to win here. Five fives doesn't really help them. We're gonna get to overrun with song and smack in. Ashri, get some bodies. Do we have ways to gain life in this day? We do. We'll see if it comes together, but... How do we feel about the first games?
Games wasn't a creature spell for the best area, though. That's kind of what I was looking for. That's our first loss. We have another two tries to get our seventh win here. I think we can still do it. Easy to put down. The cubes, that is. They're all pretty chill. That's a bummer, Wally, but I'm not gonna pour out. If I poured out perfectly good booze, Every time one of my viewers punted. I think it is like giving me some one ones here to sack the priest is kind of nice. Place it until next turn with the priest ramping. We'll see if they actually let me untap with it though. It's not something I want to do, it is just like jamming into a counter. So sick of it lands though. stuff. Fight me not IRL. I mean, the current, the current fight me stipulation, if people want to fight me online, they certainly can do that. Citadel would have just like run into the Supreme Will, and I would have been very sad. Kind of glad I didn't do that. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, Jesse McDonald. Man, people told me there weren't sweepers in this format. I've been lied to.
put a land up the top here. Yeah. Yeah. Play that one. The crackling Drake about to smack down. This might be a good time to pass. Why oh, should I put the camera on the, the lamp pad? I could be reviving the skeleton here. Oh well. Yeah, I was trying to think of a reason to play put the counter on like Oracle versus the lamp pad, and I couldn't think of a reason. But having the lamp pad actually tap for mana right now to revive a skeleton. We didn't know that we were gonna hit a black source, but we, I mean we could have guessed that maybe that would come up, right, with the Oracle in play. Still the better line. Your son? Oh, Crackling Drake? Sea Drake? Pretty sweet card. We found a second reason to put the, the camera on the lamp in. Looks like we get to win, huh? He's in a little bit damage with a minute uh, 15. Oh shit, what up? Hey, big chimpo, thanks for the sub. He's 44 months. We have that evil Kleenex sub too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice couple of subs here. The end of the old stream. Huh? 
Yeah, they, they could have used a Falcon Wrath Noble, huh? 